Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to Daily Dose of Medicine. In this video, we are going to talk about two different conditions and those are Risus Sardonicus and Opis Tatonus. On the left side, you are seeing characteristic features of Risus Sardonicus. On the right side, you are seeing characteristic features of Opis Tatonus. And we are going to talk more about them in a minute. First of all, they are caused by Clostridium tetani, and Clostridium tetani is an obligate anaerobe bacteria. Obligate anaerobe means an organism that can live only in the absence of oxygen. And this is an image of Clostridium tetani. Clostridium tetani spores found in rusty nails or in soil. Tetanospasmin is an exotoxin from Clostridium tetani. It cleaves snare proteins required for neurotransmitter release. And GABA and glycine are inhibitory neurotransmitter. Therefore, lack of inhibition leads to tetany. Generally, the first location affected in Clostridium tetany infection is the jaw. Muscle spasms cause locked jaw which means difficulty opening and closing the jaw. And after infection, we generally see spastic paralysis. And these spores are found in rusty nails. Risus sardonicus is a highly characteristic, abnormal, sustained spasm of the facial muscles that appears to produce grinning. And you can see this grinning from the image. An opistotonus is defined as a dramatic abnormal posture due to spastic contraction of the extensor muscles of the neck, trunk, and lower extremities that produces severe backward arching from neck to heel. And what type of vaccine is used for close reading tetania? We are using toxoid vaccines, and toxoid vaccines contain a toxin or a chemical made by the bacteria or virus. They make you immune to the harmful effects of infection instead of the infection itself. They are making you immune to harmful effects, not whole infection. Which microbes have a toxoid vaccine? Clostridium tetany which causes uh, opistotronus, local spastic paralysis, and risus sardonicus. And we are using also in Cordobacterium diphtheria, uh, which causes cor diphtheria. And we are using this vaccine also in pertussis, bordetella pertussis, which causes whooping cough. And there are some cons about this vaccine. Antitoxin levels decrease with time and it may require booster. And they have to be refrigerated. And that wraps up all the video. You can reach Molluscum Contagiosum video from the top right corner. Thanks for watching.